This is Daily Dose of Daryl, a segment entitled Flashlight. You know, there are a variety of flashlights, different sizes, shapes, colors, and Jesus used many objects to teach. I'm sure the flashlight would be a great lesson because you see the flashlight has a power source on the inside and it has a switch to turn it on to make it function. It also has a bulb willing to share the light to help illuminate others. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, and, and God said, let there be light and there was light. So you see, God actually spoke light into existence. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about how important that is? Because actually God is light, the light of the world. And as you look at and examine a flashlight among all the components that are there that make it function. In Psalm 1828, it says, You, O Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. And so that's the really important part of a flashlight. It turns darkness into light. <clears throat> and oftentimes, it uses other things to help make the light brighter are more intense from various lenses and things like that. But that light source is so, so important. When you look around you and you have a flashlight, you have a sense of security. You have a feeling of being safe because you can take that light source with you. And sometimes when you see that there are other types of flashlights and you start comparing them, some are taller, some are shorter, some are brighter, some don't shine quite as brightly. But they all have a purpose and they all have a function, which is sharing light into a dark world. Now, one of the things that you can learn from a flashlight is that even though they're different, they have a similar purpose. And they're placed here for that purpose. God has placed us here to be the ones to share the light. The light into the world. If you'll notice when flashlights are lit, everything seems really fine. But if you happen to hit the switch that turns the flashlight off, we're reminded by John 9, 5, While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And so when Christ was here, he was the light of the world. But he left us here to be that extended light into the world. Oftentimes we find ourselves in dark places. And when we do, we realize that God is not there. <clears throat> it says in the scriptures, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Many times we do things to cover up that light and we don't let it shine through. A lot of things in our lives tend to do that. We can become involved in organizations that are very dark. We can turn organizations into darkness. God is there to be the light and he places it within us. So ask yourself this question as you look around. Am I in the light or am I in the darkness? 1 John 1, 5 says, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. So the very definition of God is light. A lot of times I've seen in movies where it's a really dark scene and they gather in these little back rooms and it's a smoke-filled room or something and there's a lot of darkness there. And generally speaking, that's not the part where you see God. And so in our lives, we must be very careful to understand why God has placed us here. When you are surrounded with darkness, God is not there. And so always examine our lives to see, is the light with us? Is our battery source charged up? Are our lights willing to share that light with others? Are we joining together with other lights to be able to share light into a world? Because God has placed us here 
and has told us that with our light we can share goodness with others and all of a sudden you realize in the midst of light being shown you can see things that are very nutritious healthy absolutely appetizing for others so make sure you are illuminating the world so they can see all the good things that are there for them from God. Thank you for coming to Daily Dose of Daryl, a flashlight. A flashlight teaches us that God is light and we are to walk in the light and not in the darkness. I am Daryl R. Peebles, an ordained minister trained in art and in the fire service. I've retired from the local church setting to share my ministry in a broader area. I'm now producing digitally recorded presentations made just for you. These celebrations are pandemic safe, personalized, portable, permanent, price saving, powerful, private, positive, and professional. Give me a call at 336 516 3793. Send an email to darylpeebles at gmail.com or go to the website darylpeebles.com. Let us go to box 953 in Graham. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends, and all of you come back each day for something new. First, though, have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, like a flashlight, we're here to shine the light in this dark world. And God will certainly bless us for that. Be filled with the power that's available to you. It's a powerful living. And God bless you.